So here's a fun little question. Why is Victini before the starters? Because if you don't know, yeah, Victini is Pokemon number 494, right after Shaman and Arceus, which has led to many a kid and less informed adult misbelieve that it is a Gen 4 Pokemon. Because, I mean, every Pokedex starts with the starters and ends with the legendaries and mythicals. Except for Gen 5s. They decided to make Victini number 0 in the Unovan Pokedex, which doesn't even make sense. Yeah, we're making a Pokedex to catalog every Pokemon in Unova. Here you go, Professor Juniper. 155 Pokemon. I have finished the Unova Pokedex. Oh, good. Well, what about the Zeroth Pokemon? The, the, the what? Oh, you know, the Zeroth Pokemon, the Pokemon right before Pokemon number one. Snivy, the grass starter, because every regional Pokedex starts with the grass starter. So the Pokemon before it, Pokemon number zero, the Zeroth Pokemon, Victini. Oh, I'll show you a Victini. Good, because that's exactly what I want. So, etymology. Vic is Latin for champion or victor, and something that's teeny is small, tiny. Hence the, the iris champion joke. Because she's tiny and she's a champ. If I explain the joke, it's funnier. Uh, Victini also sounds a bit like victory, doesn't it? And I mean, like, here's a Pokedex entry. This Pokemon brings victory. It is said that trainers with Victini always win, regardless of the type of encounter. So yeah, it really is the victory Pokemon in the decks after all. Hence the little V sign it does with its hands too, which is very popular in Japan actually. Though it isn't where it originated. For that, we have to go to Europe. It's 1939 and World War II is happening. The first recorded use of for victory was published in the French daily newspaper. Shortly after, the Belgian Minister of Justice suggested using for victory as a rallying cry, an enduring symbol of resilience, defiance, and solidarity. As German forces occupied several nations, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill sought to boost morale and rally the people in the face of adversity and prominently gave the gesture, and it only got bigger from there. Eventually, the Allies were the victors of World War II, and thus continues to prominently display the symbol, which then came to mean not only victory, but peace and solidarity, reminding us of the triumph of freedom and the human spirit in the face of adversity. So it often pops up in both political campaigns and protests, as well as simply tourists having a good time in a peaceful land. And of course, Unova was not only the first mainline Pokemon region outside of Japan, but it was based on New York City, the United States' biggest city and the world's commercial hub. And not only was the US a big part in the Allies' victory in World War II, but also also, after their decisive victory over Japan, they then shaped the peace and prosperity Japan saw after the war. Japan refers to the time between 1945 and 1991 as the economic miracle because after their loss to America and the Allies, America occupied and enforced huge swaths of policies in the land, which ultimately led to this economic victory from America, which itself is sort of a triumph. The American dream and all that. It wasn't dead yet. Nowadays, a lot of humans are living paycheck to paycheck and struggling to make ends meet and then, oh, Timmy's got appendicitis and now we can't afford the electric bill. Oh, we should have been using today's sponsor, Dave, the banking app on a mission to build products that level the financial playing field. For instance, through Dave, you can get extra help for unexpected expenses by getting up to $500 instantly with extra cash. With no interest, late fees, or credit check, it's an easy way that millions have used already to get out of a pinch. It's a safety net that someone with unstable income definitely appreciates. Humans work best together. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, you can download Dave today at the link at the top of the description or by typing in dave.com slash noggin. Silent G and all, that's very important. That's dave.com slash noggin. Sign up for an extra cash account to get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Consider it. Then also consider the Statue of Liberty. It itself is a universal symbol of freedom and victory. It was given to the US by France as a mutual celebration of the nation's victory over the Confederates in the US Civil War and the abolition of slavery with that. Victory over tyranny and and oppression. And have you ever wondered who the statue is of? Some historians say it's Libertas, the Roman goddess of freedom, but in a pose similar to that of the Roman Victoria, 
who is a the Romanized version of the winged Greek goddess Nike. These goddesses are often depicted carrying wreaths and torches after all, sometimes even flaming swords. But the wings do explain Victini's. Nike's most famous statue is named Winged Victory too. But back to that torch, Victini is fire type after all, and these torches are said to contain eternal flames. Flames that never go out. They are often symbols of hope and endurance, competition and victory. Think of the iconic eternal flames at the Olympics, for instance. But they are also often used in large memorials and monuments, often to symbolize that those lost in whatever conflict the monument is representing were not lost in vain, because victory was achieved and we all live on in peace thanks to their sacrifice. You'll find on the list of currently going on eternal flames that like half of them are World War II monuments. And some say that that is what the flame of liberty is depicting, an eternal flame. One that symbolizes the ever-burning flame of freedom and the pursuit of liberty. Honestly, this links up well with another Pokedex entry. Victini creates an unlimited supply of energy inside its body, which it shares with those who touch it. An unlimited supply of energy? An eternal flame that never goes out? Yeah, so all in all, what I'm really getting at here is that while it isn't necessarily visually similar to the Statue of Liberty, it sort of embodies it. A mythical, psychic fire type victory Pokemon prominently placed in a region based on New York City. Oh yeah, and by the way, the place that you catch Victini is called Liberty Garden, which is based on the real world Liberty Island, which of course is where the Statue of Liberty is located. I mean, yeah. Uh, but that doesn't explain why it's number zero, though. Or why it looks the way it does. Uh... So let's answer that now. What is Victini, physically? Well, I see it and I immediately think of apples. I, I mean rabbits. I, I mean rabbit apples. A common snack added to bento boxes. Apple slices cut in a way to resemble cute little bunnies with blimpy, pointy, V-shaped ears. It seems like a lot of work when just regular apple slices do the trick, but I get it. As a kid, I also had to have my fruits and vegetables cut into animal shapes to trick me into eating them. Food just isn't the same unless something dies for it. But there is some fun thematic history here too. While the earliest examples of bento boxes pop up in Japan in the 12th century, it was the Edo period that they really began to broaden, get decorative, and become sold in mass quantities, and really started becoming what they are today. And this is notable because the thing that allowed them to flourish was the lack of Japanese civil war for the first time in centuries. As one expert puts it, the Edo era brought an end to civil war and ushered in a prolonged period of peace. With people now able to live in contentment, the bento box enjoyed a surge in popularity and quickly proliferated into many different types. The peace and stability of the Edo period allowed the people of that time the freedom to explore a variety of artistic and culinary pursuits. And these apple rabbits are extremely common in children's bento boxes today, so I think that connection sort of speaks for itself. But anyway, why a rabbit? It's not like rabbits symbolize victory or anything. Uh, normally this is the part where I say, but actually, uh, but no, not this time, because they, they really don't. Honestly, I think it's just because they needed a cute mythical Pokemon and rabbits and bunnies already have V-shaped ears. That V-shape is definitely the most important part of its design, so whatever animal it is, is just whatever. Cause like, maybe it's not supposed to be a rabbit, or it's supposed to be any specific animal in particular. Cause yeah, it looks like a rabbit, but it also looks kind of like a tailless squirrel, or chipmunk, or a mouse, or an ermine, or maybe it's just supposed to be a capital G generic rodent mustelid thing. Because because, after all, victory comes in many shapes and forms. But none of that answers the question of why it's number zero! So, is, is there even a reason? Well, yeah, theoretically. Anyway, so we've talked about its big V theming, yeah? Well, on top of all those things, V is also the Roman numeral for five. So, it being number zero means it marks the beginning of the Gen 5 Pokédex. Or perhaps it's a joke about winning. He was number one! First place, victory and all that, but number one is always reserved for the grass starter, so uh, they make it number zero instead. An even better first place. Zeroth. It is possible that that was considered, but if you actually did partake in the original Victini event back when the games were new, Professor Juniper does actually just straight up tell you 
why Victini is number zero. You see, after rescuing Victini from a life in the basement of a lice house on Victory Garden, you give it the freedom to explore Yanova with you. Thanks to you, Victini has a new destiny that does not involve being used in Team Plasma's schemes. In the Yanova Pokedex, Victini was assigned a special number, zero. I've heard that the special number was assigned in the hope that Victini's power to bring victory would be shared with the trainer who travels with this Pokedex. So it's symbolic. I mean, of course it's symbolic. It was always going to be symbolic, but it's symbolic of bringing victory to you and your Pokemon. So I guess Victini can only bless Pokemon that come after it in the Pokedex? Sucks to be you, Chatot! But that's just the in-universe explanation. Maybe from a design standpoint, it is just the Roman numeral for Gen 5. Or maybe it's to further say that Pokemon Black and White was a soft reboot for the series. There's actually quite a lot of evidence for that being Game Freak's idea with these games. And I talk about all that in this video here. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, never stop using your noggin, and peace!